say here at Amy Howard at Home, happy Finish Friday. So, you know, so many times when I take out this time to be able to show you a finish, I'm usually showing you on maybe a small trim piece or like as a sample. But I wanted to be able to show you an actual project today. A lot of people don't realize all the diversity of the products that we have here at Amy Howard at Home. And especially in the summertime, I do a lot of projects working with galvanized sheet metal because I love getting those outdoor planters or buckets or even um, water cans, all of those products that you're gonna see in different stores that look like this really bright sheet metal. It's galvanized sheet metal, it's what it's been made out of. And so while they're in this shiny kind of state, they're really not that great looking, I love making them look like they have been in an old barn for many, many years and you can pull them out and it has that beautiful farmhouse industrial rich vintage look. So I had been shopping a couple of weeks ago and I found these hanging plant containers and they're made with really shiny galvanized sheet metal. And I wanted to be able to show you how you can create a patina and an age to any of these galvanized sheet metal items that you will see at a hardware store or maybe at a garage sale or wherever your favorite place to shop. I even see them at Ikea so that you can age them and give them a patina that it makes it look really authentic looking. So I'm going to be working with my clean slate, my zinc antiquing zinc solution and better with age. And then I'm going to show you how to be able to finish it off with just this adorable little detail done with one of our trimesh stencils. So is this not the cutest? I want to be honest with you. I grabbed a couple of succulents out of our office planter to be able to show you because I love the green against this kind of aged natural wood and my zinced finish. So I want to be able to show you how to create this. So, I'm going to walk you through the stages and I'm going to set that off to the side that way you can see it. So as you pop on, be sure and say hey and then that way I'm going to be going back. I'll answer all of your questions after we have this Facebook Live to make sure if you have anything, anything you want to ask me um, as far as how, what products you can use, what you can use it on. But hopefully I'll go over that in this particular Facebook Live. So today we're going over zinc and better with age. So if you've never caught me live before, welcome. My name is Amy Howard and I am the mother maker of Amy Howard at Home. I develop all the products here at Amy Howard at Home and because I've been in furniture refinishing for many years, more than I want to say, I love the opportunity to take on Finish Fridays to be able to teach you how to be able to raise your skill level to be able to go up and then these become like um, tools in your toolbox, in your DIY creative toolbox that you can pull out and be able to do yourself and make your home more beautiful. All right, so are you ready? The other thing I want you to remember, this is Friday, so all day Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Monday, we'll make an announcement on this Facebook Live of a winner because I always love giving things away because I value your time that you take out to be able to watch me. So we're going to be giving away a zinc solution and a better with age to the lucky winner. So all you have to do is share this video and when you do your name goes in for a drawing and on Monday we'll be placing their name whoever won this from the drawing and we'll be sending these two products to you absolutely free. We're going to pay for shipping. So that's all you have to do is share the video. So as you pop on, say, tell me, hey, tell me where you're tuning in from, send me some love. And um, I enjoy looking at those ladders and connecting. We have such a beautiful tribe here um, on Amy Howard at Home. So love that, guys. Thank you. All right, so this is a decanter. So I'm going to get my overhead camera going. And that way you're going to be able to see. One, I want you to be able to see these side by side. Look at the difference. Major difference. This has a patina. This has age. This has character. This is something that you would see in a great looking high end home decor store. This is kind of, uh, it's bright, it's shiny, it's too new for me. And I want to be able to teach you how to create decor items that are beautiful that you can enjoy the bragging rights on. So now let me show you what I did. The first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to take our clean slate. 
clean slate is great for cleaning furniture, but it's also great to be able to clean galvanized sheet metal. Because what they do when they are making these items is that they are rolling this. They have to have grease to be able to roll it. And that grease that's on that roller that's actually rolling the galvanized sheet metal, it's going to create a residue. And we want to be able to get that residue off. So I have, didn't realize my top was open, so sorry. Got that all over my table. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of this on my rag. Count for about three or four seconds, that way it's nice and saturated. The Clean Slate is just a great product to have in your DIY pantry because it will take the wax and the surfactants and dust, liquid gold, all that type thing off of your furniture before you get ready to paint it. But it's also great for getting makeup, lipstick off of your um, visor, like I do. Gene Howard has to do that for me. All right, so I'm just gonna go around here. I'm not looking to do any modeling. I'm not looking to do anything but get this residue off because that can hinder me from getting a really pretty patina. So I'm just going over this with my clean slate. Now, I got a little bit of grease. You can kind of see that, how dirty it is. Now, I do want you to be careful. Make sure when you're looking at buying galvanized sheet metal items, a lot of buckets, you want to look at it because it might have a really thick, shiny coating on it that is like a sealant. And so the clean slate will have a tendency sometimes to kind of break through that, which I'm glad of, because we've got to make sure that we get down to the actual galvanized sheet metal. Just another tip. In our studio here, we have a lot of tables that we did sheet metal on the tops of them, and we antiqued them so they look like zinc. The other thing is, you can do that as countertops in your kitchen. So maybe you've got some old formica that you don't like, or maybe you flip houses, or you like creating this look because this is such a great finish, not only on what I'm showing you, but think about it as you would a cap on a tooth. You can come in and glue it down and have a rolled over edge and have the front of it, even that galvanized sheet metal. I just suggest going to a sheet metal shop in your city. You can look them up in the yellow pages or online. And um, uh, you, I'm telling my age, I'm not telling you to go to the yellow pages. Go to the online yellow pages. <laughs> so go to the online yellow pages, find a sheet metal manufacturer and tell them what you're gonna wanna do and they can make that for you. So this is just such a great finish to learn to have in your repertoire. And I'm so excited to be able to show this to you today. All right, so I've done my clean slate, and now I'm gonna be ready for my zinc solution. I've even got a picture on the front, how I show you, I really and truly, in my own home, I use these all the time. For instance, it's Father's Day this weekend. I'm gonna have about 24 people at my house for lunch. And so I am gonna, I'm gonna fill this bucket up that I get at the hardware store, and that I have zinced and striped out and I gilded the handles and I'm gonna fill it up with ice and it will have cold root beer in it and bottled water and everything and it will be full and sitting by the pool. So it's just something that I use all summer long and it's a great thing to be able to um, enjoy year after year. All right, so I'm gonna make sure, let me just shake this up really quickly. So before you use your zinc solution, shake it up. And then a lint-free rag again. I'm just gonna pour it over. Now you're gonna notice it's kind of a blue color and you know what I forgot, some gloves. So I'm gonna ask my studio assistant to get me some gloves really quickly. <laughs> we got people running out in different directions. Um, so I, what I do want you to do, I'm gonna wait for just a second. Now, does this hurt your hands? No, but I am wanting to protect my, my nails and my manicure because if you, let's say you don't have any nail polish on your nails, it will have a tendency, the zinc solution will kind of make them look dirty. So just do this as a protectant. And it, it, we are working with, um, with a type of oxidation process. It's not a harsh chemical, but I like for you to be able to use it in an area where you've got some ventilation. All right, so I'm just gonna put these gloves on. All right, so now I'm gonna saturate my rag just a little bit more. And I love the fact now that we've got this overhead camera so that way you can see it. And let's start on the outside. Look at this, look at this. All, look at the minute, look at this.
Look at this. The minute I set that down, it's starting to oxidize it. Is that so fun? Now, what's, what you're going to notice is that it's, um, it's going to look black, but it's not going to stay black. What it's going to do is it's going to dry down and it's going to almost get like a powdery residue on it, which I adore because that's what makes it look so old. The other thing is, and if you're just now popping on, please say hey and share this video because uh, we say sharing is caring, but it also is going to put your name in for a drawing that we're going to be giving away zinc solution and better with age. And so I found these adorable hanging planters, which will be darling to be able to put some cute succulents in and hang it in a gallery setting, maybe in your kitchen or your family room, your entry hall, any room, they would be absolutely adorable. All right, the other thing that you're gonna notice as I'm doing this, I'm not really scrubbing it. I wanna do kind of a modeling. Now I'm gonna turn my rag around just a little bit because I've got, I'm getting some residue from that metal and I'm gonna pour up a little bit more of my zinc solution. One, two, three, four. And now I'm going to come in the inside. Look at this. I mean, I'm sorry. We're all about instant gratification. This is giving us instant gratification. You're going to notice, though, you will have, um, you'll be hindered a little bit by not turning so quickly if you don't use the clean slate. And look how I'm kind of patting it and modeling it. And again, when it goes really that kind of that dark black, it's going to dry up as it as it's wet, it's going to be dark. But then as it starts to dry, it's going to go to this lighter gray color. And if you if you don't want it quite as dark, all you have to do is put just a little bit of water in it. You can thin it down, maybe um, one part zinc to two parts zinc solution. You want to make sure that you just kind of get into these areas where that's been folded. All right, so now we've got just a little bit of an area in here that I want to make sure that I get taken care of. Now, I'm going to hit it with the hair dryer, so I'm apologizing in advance for the noise, but I want you to be able to see how it starts to change. I'm speeding up the process just a little bit. Can you see that already? Look at that. That is just absolutely yummy. Yummy, yummy. Look at that. Can you see that? This is what we started with, guys. That's it. Look at that. Now we've got some of uh, just this yummy zinc finish. I've got to go back and hit that. Love, love, love. Is that so fun? Now, if there's areas that you've missed, all you have to do, because I can see some highlights, where it's kind of that silver, that bright silver just kind of popping through, just come back with your rag and hit on top of it, because you want to make sure that that's all set back, all right? So now, loving this. I've got just a little bit in here, but for the sake of time, um, I'm going to go in and move on. I probably, in that crease, I would just take maybe a Q-tip go down in there. That'll get down into that area that you've got an intersection of your metal. But I'm loving this. Now, um, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to take a product. A lot of you may not be familiar with it. And I love how somebody posted on uh, the before and after group. They were like, I've never used this product. I thought it was a stain, but I am totally in love with it. This is one of the most interesting products that you may ever use in doing the whole crafting, making, refinishing process. It is not a stain, and it only comes one way. It's called Better With Age, and I love I loved the fact when I came up with that name was the fact that woods and metals and things like this look so much better when they've got age to them, that oxidation process. Wood is a living, breathing element. It's alive, and so when you are dealing with different woods, they have what's called tannins in them. T-A-N-N-I-N-S. Those tannins are oils that are in natural to a wood. Different woods are going to have more tannins than others. Your oaks, your cherries, your mahoganies, those are going to have a lot of tannins in them. 
And so when you add the better with age to that wood, it's going to age it. It's going to darken it naturally. So a lot of people will ask me, Amy, could I use better with age on my floors? Absolutely you could. Sand them down because most floors are oak. Now, if you have pine, a lot of furniture that you're going to get is pine. If you use better with age on pine, you're not going to see a major difference. But you know what you can do? You can use our antiquing glaze that we use with our milk paint. Put it on first, let it dry, then come back and use the better with age and you're going to see a miraculous difference. Write that down. We talk about my old world finishing course about taking copious notes, remembering and going, I need to go back and try that. It is a major difference. So I want to be able to show you on this, this is probably like a rubber wood, but I didn't want it to be as raw on this. It's just too raw for me. I wanted to be able to give it just a little bit of color. And so instead of using a stain, I like being able to do the better with age because I love the naturalness of it that it gives me. And you do need to make sure when you are working with better with age, you've got to stir it up. And so it is going to have a tendency to kind of settle to the bottom. So I'm stirring this up and I'm, I'm just going to dip a sponge brush. I usually, when I'm working with better with age, I will not use a bristle brush. Um, you can, if you want to be able to use more of a natural, like a China chip brush, but I like working with a foam brush. All right, so I'm just going to put this down and what it's, you're going to notice, there's going to be an oxidation process that's going to take place. That's just going to age it just a little bit. And again, the better with age is not staying. It literally will age the wood. There's not a lot of tannins in this, but I loved the color that I got from it. I have done this on oak pieces before and it will go this glorious dark gray. You will absolutely fall in love with it. It's beautiful. All right, the other thing that you wanna do when you're working with the Better With Age is lay it on here. It's not about like a stain. You don't put it on and then wipe it off. It's about kind of saturating it and letting it soak down into the wood. The great thing about it is if you use Better With Age like on stained floors, it will go all the way down through the wood itself. It's actually turning the wood. It doesn't sit on the surface at all. It's just an awesome, awesome product. All right, so I'm gonna take my hair dryer again. I'm just gonna hit this because I wanna finish it out. I wanna show you something that's so fine. So as I'm drying this down, I want to show you, I've got another product that I'm going to be working with. This is a mesh stencil. I'm also going to be working with my ink and my spreader. And so what I wanted to do is showing you on this piece, I love being able to have this little detail. I think that really takes it to a new level. One more second, guys. I'm so sorry. All right. So, what I wanted to do is I wanted to be able to add just a little bit of element here with art. Now, here's the great thing about working with my stencils and the inks. You don't have to be able to draw. You don't have to have that, that element of creativity. A lot of us maybe have the element of creativity of textures and painting and glazing, but we want to be able to add elements like this because it really does just take it to a whole new level. So look at this without it. Some people may go, Amy, I like it plain. Then that's great. But I want to be able to show you to be able to add this element to it is so easy and so fun. And this is a stencil that we did that is primarily geared towards plants. So the stencil has these adorable sayings that makes it a lot of fun. Root for me, I wet my plants and I will survive. I don't know about you, but the only plants that live at my house are orchids and succulents. You cannot kill succulents. You can look over at them, say how much you love them. Oh, I've got to water that. That was a month ago. And they're happy. They will survive. All right, so let me show you what I did. So I'm going to take this. You've got several borders here. So you can choose one. You can put them all together depending on how wide you want to make it. But I'm going to be working with this one right here. So I'm just going to cut this. 
I better put my glasses on for just a second. As you pop on here, please say hey. If you're just now tuning in, my name is Amy Howard. I'm with Amy Howard at Home. And I am showing you how to make an adorable vintage looking planter today. We're learning how to make zinc. I'm gonna just stay with that. It'll be a little bit easier. So it's adhesive. I'm gonna remove it from the back and turn this around. And then I'm going to move this down just a little bit because I want to have a little bit of negative space at the top. The great thing about it is these are adhesive, so I can press that down and it's going to stay in place. So burnish it just a little bit with your hand. And then I'm going to take my gel ink. So you can use this on wood. You can also use it on paper. You can use it on fabric. And I'm just going to go in and take my spreader and put that here. And then holding it at a 45 degree angle like this, I'm gonna spread that on here. Now I'm looking like I'm getting just a little bit of that circle. If I do, I can wipe it off pretty quickly. So you're pushing this through the mesh itself. It's kind of like a silk screening process. But from a crafting and making standpoint, guys, there's nothing more fun and more satisfying. Look at that. Is that the cutest? Now, if I get some in an area that I didn't want, all I have to do is just kind of come back before it has a tendency to just set and wipe it off. And look at that. Is that the cutest? So what it does, it allows us to be able to take things that are kind of ordinary looking, things that you might get at the hardware store, or there may be things like buckets or containers that you have. You can take the most ordinary buckets, as we call, with handles on them, do a zinc solution like I showed you here today, and then use one of our stencils and maybe say Le Fleur or some French words. I don't know about you, but I think anything with French words on it makes it look so much more expensive. And then put a boxwood, plant a boxwood in it. Do two of them on either side of your door or your back door. It really takes it to a whole new level where just looking at that galvanized bucket and a shiny finish is definitely not gonna do that for you. But this, on the other hand, looks like you got it at a really nice, expensive shop. So, I hope this was fun. I hope it was something that you learned a skill. And please share your information. Say hey, tell me where you're tuning in from. Share this video, and your name's gonna go in for a drawing all day Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then on Monday, we're gonna announce a winner, and we're gonna send you absolutely free Better With Age and the Zinc Solution. Have a fantastic weekend, everybody. Enjoy this glorious summer weather, and I'll see you back here next Friday. Bye.